want to show you my new Bible. I think that overall that this is the coolest ESV Bible that you can buy. Just got it. Uh, this is the Skyla Quintel Imperial Blue Goatskin in the ESV. And the thing that makes it special is this full yap. So the leather goes all the way around and the edges can actually touch like and that's pretty cool like when you just grab the bible wherever you grab it uh it touches and it really protects the pages now in fact this is the only esv that you can buy um with a full yap cover and unfortunately i should actually revise that saying that you can't buy it because it, they sold out so quickly uh, when Evangelical Bible uh, put them up for sale and so now it is sold out but I'm sure they're going to bring it out again soon and then you will be able to buy one for yourself. They just released it in this color and I had to get it right away because I always wanted a full yet Bible and so this is my first one. Now in this video I want to show you this Bible. Uh, I'm not going to do a, a full review like some of the other folks do, walk you through every single page of it. I think that's a bit unnecessary for me at this point. But I want to sort of compare this with another Bible. This is a Skylar Quintel 36 GSM paper and that's an NIV. And on this side we also have the ESV Topaz from Cambridge. Uh, in black that and this will give you a sense of how this one compares how is it different and maybe in some ways it's it's even cooler than the other ones so let's look at the uh, leather first of all I want to say the grain feels somewhat similar to this maybe this one's a bit softer and I think there's an improvement in the liner you won't be able to tell on the video I don't think but the way it feels to me it feels to me like this liner is a better calfskin or it's just somehow superior to this one. So um, uh, this one in the Topaz is very similar to this NIV uh, Quintel, but this one feels the nicest to me. Um, no, it makes sense, right? This was sort of the special one. They're putting it out with the new cover. So I, it makes sense to me that they would use sort of the best leather they could find. Now let's look at the um, spine. Now, the one thing I really like, actually, let's throw another one on there. This NIV Quintel has the coolest spine I've ever seen. It's so pronounced, the tooling there, and then the raised hubs just looks amazing to me. Um, notice also that on the Fully App Edition, this is a thinner Bible, so the logo is smaller, but on the 36 GSM, it's a bit thicker, and therefore they throw the fatter one there. So. The Topaz, I don't even think, that doesn't even compare to me. So this one's the best, second best, third best. That's the way I see that. So uh, I guess we might as well look at the thickness here. Um, okay, that's how we're... So definitely a bit thinner. And then let's throw the Topaz in there. Compare the ESV with the... Oh, interesting. This one seems slight... Honestly, now, now that I'm looking at it from the top here, this one's maybe it's slightly thicker, but not really anything. Now, let's open it up and see on the inside. And I think I, I've opened it to a certain page that we can nicely compare all of them and see how the inside of these Bibles is uh, different from each other. So, first of all, I'm really digging the blue art gilding here. I'm really liking that. I, lo I love it with this purple and blue over here, with the blue liner. I think that looks awesome. But this one honestly looks the best of the lot. Let's look at the topaz. Honestly, so conventional, so ordinary. These salmon edges, everything has that. So I'm really more into this one. And I think this full yap version, when it just lays open like that, looks cool. Look at the corner work there. Silver line on the inside. Some more corners. Look at look at look at the old NIVs. Oh, sorry, the uh, Skylar Quintels. Look at how the corners normally look compared to this. This looks way 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 better, and it's just nice having that extra little bit of yap. The Topaz actually, I feel like it has a slightly bigger yap than the regular Quintels, but um, you know they don't even have the line on the inside, and uh, just doesn't look all that cool to me. Anyway, so let's look at now the inside of the Bible. And I'm showing you this page because um, this is a 28 GSM, this is a 36 GSM, and the Topaz is also a 28 GSM. Now the ghosting, I believe this is the same paper. 
So ghosting looks the same to me. All right, on this one, now this one is the thicker paper and I much prefer the thicker paper because it turns way nicer and it's way easier to handle. But in terms of ghosting, honestly, I had a look at it and I can't really tell the difference, really. So I could see why Skylar is now making everything with the 28 GSM. This is the last remaining um, Quintel that you could buy in a 36 GSM. And I'm really happy that I got it because I'm, uh, these days I'm really into the NIV as well. And what's also different about this one is it has the red ink for Jesus' words. Yeah, we don't have it. So, okay, now I'm not going to do a full comparison here of what the difference is between the Skylar Quintel and the NIV and the Skylar Quintel and the ESV, okay? There's quite a lot of differences, and I'm not going to point all of those out right now. But just get a sense of what it looks like having red letter and non-red letter. And then over here, we have the verse-by-verse -verse format with red letter, and there we have just a black letter text paragraph setting. So, it all depends on how, what suits you. 11 font, 10 font. Um, honestly, I don't, I don't know which one's the best anymore. I'm kind of just, I, I love Skylar because I feel like their stuff is the highest quality and some I'm sort of more drawn to just committing with them all the way. Um, also, I have a, a first edition of the ESV Quintel 30, 38 GSM paper and that one's really special. And so if I was going to, mark up one of these copies it would be that one okay so paragraph but then look here here we have a bit of a poetry situation going on there we have it in the red and finally let's show this one again no poetic setting over here and i feel like that is a real drawback man if the topaz had poetic setting maybe that would be the winner because the paper is just as good size is uh, pretty good and this is easier to read right here but there's no poetic setting and that's about a third of the bible so i think that's a uh, one of the arguments in favor of this bible for instance look at that once you get to the poetic section looks awesome there's lots of space uh, for you to write or a lot of space just for you to make a note or see what's going on uh, but look now in the poetic section we see a bit of ghosting eh let's uh let's open up another See if the ghosting's any different. Hmm. Now I want to say maybe I can see more ghosting in this one. A little bit. Not a lot. But anyway. Yeah, so this is the full Yap ESV. And it's very special because it's the only one you can buy. And you can't even buy it right now. So hopefully you'll be able to buy it soon. Definitely recommend that for you. Let's look at the uh, um, edges again. You can see how, how much that Yap overlaps. It's very cool and you can it comes pretty trained out of the box but you can um, you know play with it and make it more pronounced that's um, yeah so I'm really happy with the cover love the color the liner is really fantastic and the corner work came out just fine on my version I want to say if there was a fault with this Bible it was that when I got it there was some glue here and there and I just had to sort of pick it off there, wash it off a little bit, and now it seems to be just fine. It's, uh, actually, let's see if we can show you the silver. There, see a bit of blue, and now you're just seeing the silver. But anyway, I'm loving the full yap, and I hope that they keep going with full yap on everything. At least we have the option, because I would buy it, uh, just because it's so different from what's ordinarily available, and it does seem to me to be functional and beautiful.